Welcome to TPM's 3 Minute Thursday. Today we're going to take a look at how we can show flexible components in an assembly. The example we have is using springs and we'll show how we can either drive assembly positions by adjusting components or we can use the assembly information to drive the length of the components. In our example we have two springs, one made the traditional method using a sweep from a helix, the second with a sweep from a circular sketch and a straight line profile. The option that's used here is to twist along path to generate the shape of the spring. So for our first technique we'll drive the length of the helical spring and as we make adjustments there that will position components in the assembly. So to do that I'll mate the helical spring in the assembly and you'll notice once we do that our block is no longer free to move within the assembly. For our other spring we'll use a little different technique. We'll add a relation in the sketch to drive the length of our geometry. Once we've done this, if we edit the helical spring, as soon as we make changes, the components in the assembly automatically update length as soon as we release using Instant 3D. Another approach is to drive the motion from the assembly. We can do this either with a distance mate and an equation, or we can set a global variable. Either way, we're going to control things from the assembly. So the first is with a distance mate from the assembly. We'll suppress our previous mate. We'll add in a distance mate. We'll expose the dimensions of the spring and we'll set that equal to the distance mate. So now if we change the value of the distance mate and rebuild our model updates. Another similar approach would be in the assembly to use a global variable. So we'll turn off our distance mate, we'll turn back on our coincident mate, and here we'll create a global variable. We'll create an equation to make our length of our spring equal to the global variable that we just defined. So now if we want to make a change in our assembly, we can manage equations and modify the length of the global variable and watch our model update. Thanks for watching TPM's 3 Minute Thursdays.